Hi, welcome to Bonita's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. What I'm going to be making today is a delicious apple strawberry tart. Now this apple strawberry tart I'm going to be making today could be seasonal. You could make it in the summer with the sun shining, you're having a beautiful barbecue. Or remember those frozen uh, strawberries and frozen apple wedges that you done last year. You can use those as well and you can make them at winter time or any time of the year. So if that interests you, let's get started. I was saying those frozen apples these I picked last season and I froze them blanched them and froze them I'm gonna be using some of these I'm gonna be using a nice uh, red apple what I'll do first is peel and then we're gonna wedge them um, we're also going to uh, cut up the fresh strawberries into wedges or into halves I'll show you that as we go but this is all you do Make a quick peel of your apple and wedge them. So after you've taken the peel off, just put it in nice chunks like that, little wedges, or whatever way you want to cut it. It's up to you. As well, I'm going to incorporate that frozen package with mine today because I need to get rid of some of those frozen apples before I start picking them again when the season is here. Um, also, after you've uh, wedged your your apples like this you're going to put a tablespoonful of lemon juice over them so they don't go brown on you as well I'm going to cut open and this is vacuum sealed and it stays fresh forever as you can see I'm going to toss them in there with this apple we'll use four apples here today and your apple of choice after you Put your apples in there and as you can see I'm using some frozen and fresh and they got a nice color these that I got last year I picked from our neighbor's tree and then you're going to wash up your strawberries cut them in halves or cut them in wedges like this and put that in there and you're going to use about a pound of those delicious fresh or frozen strawberries just like that and I'm also going to incorporate the strawberries that we picked last year into there keep them frozen you don't need to thaw them toss it in so again about a pound of strawberries and about four apples wedged that's all you need to do there now I'll tell you the other ingredients that we're going to be putting in with our strawberries and apples. Again, mix it up. If you want to use some of your frozen apples, some of your fresh ones, you want to use all fresh fruit and berries, that's fine too. So I will also provide this recipe in under this video as per usual. I'm going to be using a half a cup of white sugar, but you can use sugar of choice. I'm going to toss this on in. Toss that on in there. We're going to have two tablespoonfuls of cornstarch. Toss that on in there. A quarter of a teaspoonful of grounded cloves, play on words, and a teaspoonful of cinnamon. And now we're just going to toss this in. So just make sure all of those seasonings are, are tossed in there equally. So I'm going to put this to the side. Now what we're going to do is make our pastry. Now the reason I'm leaving this one for last, because I wanted the butter to be cold, I wanted the water to be cold that I'm going to be using, because that makes for a delicious flaky pastry. I'm going to reach for my butter and my water in the fridge. Now let's get started. I got two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. You can use flour of choice. I'm going to leave about a quarter of a cup for dusting my countertop when we go to roll it out. I got a half a teaspoonful of sea salt. You can also use a 
table salt and I got a half a cup of coal butter. Now I'm going to pinch this together first. So now you can either do this with your clean end or you could use your mixer with the hook just to get all this butter mixed and put in through the flour and that salt evenly before we start using the, the cold milk. So we're just trying to squish it down now because it's so cold. So just keep mixing that through like that till you get this butter all evenly incorporated. Now I'm going to add in half a cup of cold water and we'll get mixing that through. So we're just going to pour in the half a cup of cold water. Now I'm going to mix that through as well and then form it into a ball. So then you're just going to to push down, taking on the flour and the butter and forming it into that ball. And that's all you need to do there. So that's all you need to do there. Now, what I'm going to do is just lightly dust my counter with some flour. Now, to make it even flakier, you can put this dough in your fridge for about 15 minutes, let the butter harden again, take it out and roll it out. But right now, it's still not too bad. It feels, still feels cold. I'm going to roll this out now and I'll show you to how much. So all we're going to do now is roll out this delicious pastry evenly. So pretty much you're going to roll out this pastry the same way you would if you're getting ready to make a pie. And what I'm going to do, we're going to use the full amount. Now this amount that I gave you for making this pie crust today is enough for, for um, two pies. But we're using the full amount for this tart because we're going to be pulling the dough up over the berries and the apples. So I just want to roll it out nice and wide first before we do that. So what I'm going to do now is take my pastry and put over into my flat cookie sheet with a piece of parchment paper in under it. And now I'm going to show you what to do next. So before you pour or, or scoop your apple and strawberries into the tart or the pastry, mix it around again because you want to get all that evenly done. So just scoop it out like this in pieces, like that. You want to get all of that delicious goodness out in, onto that pastry like this. And now I'm going to show you what to do next. After you've got everything scooped in there together, you're going to bring your pastry up and around the berries, the strawberries and your apples like this. And when you get it snug in there like this, I want to pour the rest of the juice, cornstarch, down into that because that's going to make that delicious sauce as well. So let's do that. So we don't want to waste a thing because the cornstarch is what's going to keep it all together. And then you're going to pull it up over like that. And then we're going to pinch it around. That's all we're going to do there. So as you can see, that's nice and snug in there. What you need now is some melted butter. I'm going to bring it over closer. And you're going to just dust around the sides of your pastry like this. Then we're going to have about a teaspoonful of sugar and about a half a teaspoonful of cinnamon and we're going to dust over the top. Now how as good as that? That's all you need to do there. Now look how easy it is to make this delicious apple strawberry tart and it's 
quick and easy if you're planning on having a family barbecue or you're just making it for yourselves. So what I'm going to do now is turn on my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, let it preheat and then set the timer to 30 minutes. When the timer is up, if your and your tart is nice and golden brown, pull it out and I'm going to show you what's next. Our apple strawberry tart is baked. I'm going to take it out of the oven and show you what it looks like. Absolutely delicious and smells amazing in here. I got myself a pot of tea made and what we need to do now is let it rest for about five to ten minutes. I know possibly you want to cut it right now but letting it rest will make uh, the juices just sticking up a little bit and Raymond's going to say something I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm just saying that, you know, will you be upset if I cut it? No. Okay, I'll no. wait. I'll wait. We're going to let him wait, but he will get some. So, I'll show you what that looks like. Now, I don't think Raymond is there a particular way you want to cut this, eh? You just want to know that you're going to have a nice big slice of this delicious apple and strawberry tart so I'm going to cut this now and we're going to take off a nice piece of course this is always perfect served at but I always like to wait a little bit but just look at that isn't that just delicious looking and I'm gonna serve this today with some ice cream and of course vanilla ice cream would be the best but we got orange ice cream today. I guess whatever is available at. Mm -hmm. And that's it, as good as it gets. Now, this is a perfect dessert. If you want to set out in your garden, have a little garden party. And like you said, if it's just you and your, your husband or your wife or your kids, they're gonna love this. Of course, I'm gonna have a hot cup of tea with it. But if I was out in the garden, I'll have a nice cup of iced tea. I'm going to have a taste now, tell you what it tastes like. I can't wait. Mm. So delicious. The pastry, nice and flaky. The deliciousness of the strawberry and the apple. Oh my, I can't wait for you guys to make it. And of course, Raymond is waiting for ease. <laughs> you better believe it. So if you enjoyed our recipe today, we're going to post the actual recipe down under this link here on YouTube. You can also find it on our website, www.bonitaskitchen.com and as well on our Facebook page. We'd like to thank each and every one of you for taking some time out of your busy day today and spending it with us. From our kitchen to yours, stay safe and thank you again for joining us. And don't forget to join us again join on Bonita's Kitchen. Us.